Hi, I'm Fidelity with the Skylum Education Team, and in this video, I'll show you how I used a combination of Photoshop's advanced selection features with the power of Luminar Flex to create a composition of an aviator and a plane. Now, as a bonus, I'll also show you how to create this using smart object and smart filters so you can replace the plane or the aviator and still keep a consistent artistic look that can be applied to the entire series. Let's get started. Launch Photoshop and start by creating a new document. The final output size is going to be 24 inches by 16 and for resolution 300 pixels per inch which is the standard for high resolution printing. And I'll click Create. So instead of clicking on Open, I want to come down here and select Place Embedded. Let's start with the plane. This X represents the smart object. So let's resize it into place. Good. And I'll position it. right about here and then I'll do the same thing with the aviator good let's resize her and that looks good now just for a little maintenance I'm going to rasterize these two layers now when we resize these images notice how the image extends far beyond the document size what I want to do is I want to crop that and delete any of the pixels on the outside of the document. This will prevent any problems later on. Now I'll come back over here and for the plane, I'm going to convert it back to a smart object and we're ready to go. Now a smart object, all it really is, it's the same image that we have here. When I double click on it, it opens up a container that holds that layer that we just created. And you'll know it's a smart object because the extension is PSB. PS stands for Photoshop and B for big. Great. Now back up to the aviator. And from here, I'm going to click the magic wand because that's going to bring up additional selection tools. And I want to choose the select subject. I'll let Photoshop analyze the image and it's going to come back. And it does a great job of selecting around her. I'll use the magic wand tool. Using Shift, I'm going to add to this selection. This looks good. And now I'll choose the Select and Mask button. Great. Now, if you don't see the layer beneath, in this case the plane, come over here to the Views and make sure Onion Skin is selected. Now, this looks good, except there's a couple areas we need to fix. So I'm going to select the Refine Edge brush. Zoom in a little bit and adjust my brush size and then from here I'll just paint out the background that I don't want good and I'll do the same thing on this side I photographed this on a white background because I knew I was going to put it against something that was lighter this makes it a lot easier to extract and blend the subject with the background I right, that's looking really good now here are a couple settings that are going to make this look even better. Make sure Smart Radius is checked. And come down here and check decaminating colors. And notice how it does a great job at removing the fringe around the hair. Now click the OK button and the changes will be saved. Now advanced masking is what Photoshop lives for. The program is designed for graphic artists with tools photographers can also use. Now, Luminar, on the other hand, is created and designed for photographers to develop and process their images with graphics tools such as layers and masking to achieve a blend of creativity with solid photography. Now, we don't need this layer anymore, so I'll delete it. Now, the layer that the aviator is on with the mask, I'm going to right mouse click on it and I'll convert this to a smart object. Now we have the aviator and the plane on two separate layers. 
If I were to apply a filter to this now, just the aviator or just the plane will have the effect. So I'm going to click on both of these, right mouse click, and once again, convert this to a smart object. If I double click on a smart object, it'll open the container and you'll see it's exactly how it was earlier. Right, let me close this out. Now we're going to apply the Luminar Flex plugin to this layer so both the plane and the aviator will have the look applied to them. Now from the filters menu, select Skyrim Software and choose Luminar Flex. Now I've already created a special look for the aviator. So I'm going to click on the Looks Collection button. I'm going to select User Luminar Looks. And here's my aviator look. Good. Now from here, I'm going to click the Apply button to send the image back to Photoshop. And now our Luminar look is applied to both the plane and the aviator. Now here's where the power of smart objects and smart filters are going to help us. Notice up here, we have a GoPro in the image. And we want to get rid of this building. So instead of starting over again, I'm going to double click on the smart object. And for the plane, I'll double click on the plane and it'll bring up the plane. I want to transform this again, Control T. I'll make it just a little bit larger. Great, that took care of the, the little building or the little bushes off to the left. We still have to get rid of the GoPro and the, the building. So let's take care of the GoPro first. All right, so the first thing I want to do is press Control T to transform the image. And I'm going to make it a little bit larger. Good. That'll get rid of the bushes on the left side. Now, let's get rid of this GoPro. Normally, I like to apply all my changes to a separate layer. This way, if I make a mistake, and I, I can always revert back to the original. Using the lasso tool, I'll make a, a loose selection around the GoPro. Good. And then I'll use keyboard shortcut shift backspace to bring up the content aware box. And I'll select OK. And instantly the GoPro is gone. Now let's come over here to the building. I'm going to zoom in on the building. Once again, I'll make a loose selection. Good. Now if I miss an area, I'll just press the shift key and I'll add to my selection. I'm going to use the eyedropper tool. I'll select a color that's close to this. And then using a brush tool, I'll just come in and paint the building out. That looks great. Control S to save it. And now I'm going to close out. I'll press Control S again to save this container. And then Luminar Flex is going to relaunch. It'll give me the choice to make additional changes. And I'll select the Apply button to send the image back to Photoshop. Now, notice the GoPro and the building are gone. And the look we created stayed the same. So by creating a smart object in Photoshop, we were able to add Luminar Flex as a smart filter. Now think how powerful this is. If we decide to create an entire aviator series, we can replace the plane or the aviator without having to start all over again and rebuilding our look, keeping the entire series consistent. Now, Skylum is dedicated to education, so if you have questions about this technique or if you'd like to learn another technique, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and take a moment to add a few comments. Now don't forget, like, share, and subscribe to this Skylum channel to get the latest photography tips, videos, and much more. Well, I'm Benelli from the Skylum Education Team. Thanks for watching.